Hello everyone and welcome to the Asian session. My name is Reese. I'll be your tour guide. Um, quick disclaimers before we get out there. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Uh, I am a licensed attorney, but this is not a solicitation in any manner, shape, or form for legal services. Um, with that being said, guys, we are employing the um, training models first uh, released by Michael Huddleston, whose online handle is Inner Circle Trader. You can find him on YouTube. Twitter and now Instagram. So whenever I'm using uh, his models, I'll try and point that out to you um, as best as I can, guys. So we are also partnered with a firm called Top Step, uh, Top Step Trader. And so we're working through a step two combine right now. Our profit limit for today, our profit target is 157.197. So we've got work to do, guys. Uh, we have taken a couple of profitable trades today. I'll show you those executions. So we got short one contract here at 225.75 and one contract short at 234 evens. Covered the first one at 217 and the second one up here at 225. Now, the contract that I just got short here was assuming that we were going to uh, reclaim this SIBI up here and then move down one standard deviation. Um, at this point, it looks like price is drawing to buy side liquidity, so this might be a loss. We'll see. Um, guys, I use uh, for risk management, my first thing uh, that I use for risk management is I enter in one contract at a time. Okay, so as I see new models and where the draw on liquidity is, I don't enter all at one spot. That being said, this is not looking good at the moment. We're, we're coming up to this order block here. We'll see if price wants to potentially respect that uh, order block. So, okay, there's that. Um, this would be a pretty decent breaker at this point. So we have a, a high, a low, and then a higher high that is pushing, ideally, all right, we'll try one more short contract right here and see if we get that. Uh, and then, and then after that, we'll call it we'll call it a loss if, uh, if it continues pushing up to this buy side liquidity. I think it's looking to stop above this buy side liquidity and then turn around. Um, so that would be a high, a low, and then a higher high that pushes into liquidity. That would be an ICT bearish breaker model. Now. ICT premium discount model. If we get to a little bit of a higher time frame here, so we come up to our 30 minute. Um, this appears to be right now the dealing range in which we are working. So from point A to point B, uh, you can see that we are currently working in a in a premium, kind of around the optimal trade entry. So optimal trade entry is going to be this 0 0.605. You can see that we're just working above that optimal trade entry right now. Um, so my current thinking is that price being in a premium here, um, it's either going to come up to this premium SIBI and then turn lower, uh, or we're just going to immediately turn lower here and go seek discount. So discount would be below 209 spot 25, and then deep, deep discount would be down at uh, 160 halves. So I'm probably going to work for uh, an hour on this video, maybe an hour and a half. And we're currently sitting in drawdown, and again, we're cost averaging, so I'm not taking on. Um, let's see how many contracts uh, I'm allowed at this point. Let us see. Okay, I'm allowed 10 contracts, so that's probably more than I want to take on. I'm allowed 10. So we're here, we're trading the NASDAQ guys. I'm a NASDAQ trader. Um, let's always try to stay hydrated. This is Gatorade. I know it sounds stupid and quaint, right? But you do, you do need to stay hydrated. Like basic stuff guys, like you're using your brain, right? And so you gotta hydrate the brain. Give it electrolytes. No, I mean it. 
like in all seriousness, um, you need to be hydrated to trade well. I, I, I'm dead serious about that. It's important. Um, всем моих русских зрителей, я вас приветствую на мой канал. Я очень рад тому, что вы ко мне пришли. И meinen Deutschen, ich willkomme Ihnen bei mir. Es freut mich sehr, dass Sie alle hier sind, hier gekommen sind. Okay, guys, we're sitting in drawdown right now. We have money to make, fake money, fake money. Okay. We might. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. I think we're probably going to get one more push into liquidity and then drop. So we'll see that. We're on the four minute chart now, guys. So I've got a friend of mine, an internet friend of mine um, from New York, uh, and he kind of he kind of worked me up uh, earlier today. Um, and I want to talk about something, OK? Um, Reese, are you okay? Surprised these videos have even 20 views. The videos are just rambling messages. Um, and then I got other guys commenting about my videos, you know, mocking me. And um, let's say something seriously, guys. If you don't have vision, if you don't have long-term planning, if you think like an employee like this, if you have no ability to think out in the future, if you mock other people that are trying to achieve something with their lives, maybe start their own business, start their own company, whether they fail or not, okay? Most small businesses do fail, sure. But um, if you're the kind of guy that goes around mocking people trying to accomplish something that they want to do, you're a fucking loser, all right? And you're never going to amount to anything because you're an employee mindset. Um, and you're not going anywhere with that. If, if you can't see two steps ahead, you can't, if you have no vision, if you have no faith in what you're doing, faith in the Lord and faith in yourself, that what you can do, what you can accomplish with hard work and discipline and diligence, you're not going to see, guys, you're not going to start the Coca-Cola company 2.0 tomorrow. But if you work and work and work, okay, and you strategically plan, you, you formulate a business plan, and then you bring a product to market, a few years from now, you could be the next Coca-Cola company, okay? So you can't let your family, you can't let your friends, you can't let anybody who's trying to mock you or trying to bring you down or trying to, you know, make fun of you for what you're trying to do. You got to look at those people and say, those are employees. Those are people that have no vision. They can't think past step one. And that's why they're never going to amount to anything in their lives. That's why they're going to be mediocre their entire lives because they can't think past step one. That's my thoughts on that. Um, they're fucking losers, all right? That's what the people like that are. If you're trying to start your own business, okay? You're trying to do something for yourself. Could be YouTube, could be day trading, could be, I don't know, right? You could run a friggin' horse track. Um, you could start a bakery. You could start a restaurant. Whatever you're trying to do, guys. You know, I don't want to tell you to be a fool. Like, don't go blow out a bunch of money without a plan. But if you really have a business plan, like, here's step one, here's step two, here, here's step three, okay? This is how we're going to make this happen. So I don't want to tell you to, like, you know, just go blow a bunch of money on a pipe dream. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is if you have a long-term plan that is realistic enough and you have a vision, don't let other people hold you back. They're losers. That's what they are. They're freaking losers. And they'll never amount to anything. All right, we're watching this. Just pushed into some liquidity here. Um, this would be right about where I would want it to turn around. So in this liquidity, um, breaker block here, point A, point B, point C, pushed into some liquidity. 
this is about where I would want it to start to make its journey down. Uh, if it's going to. If not, we are going to take a loss. Okay. So stop loss does need to go in the market, and it can't be above that high. Uh, it does need to come up here, and we'll work with that. Uh, we're at two contracts, guys. We've got $3,000 um, of drawdown to work with. Our profit target today is 157, 197. I'm not telling you guys that. I mean, you first off, you have to have a realistic um, business plan. So I've already told you my my I've already told you my business plan, guys. Step one: become a profitable. Uh, uh, profitable day trader. Number two, uh, you know I'm partnered with a firm called Top Step LLC. Okay, they fund day traders, skilled day traders. They fund them. So use my affiliate link. All right, affiliate marketing. Number two, number three, YouTube ad revenue. Obviously, I want to make money uh, with this YouTube channel. It's I'm putting a lot of work into it. Why would I not want to earn income from said work? Come on, guys. Of course. And then uh, number four, later on, sell short-term options, options premium, or get uh, bond CDs, uh, long long-term interest-bearing accounts, right? Money market certificates of deposit, bonds, those sort of things, uh, so that I have that income stream coming in as well. So active income stream from day trading, passive income stream from uh, YouTube, ad revenue, passive income coming in from affiliate marketing and then uh, passive income coming in from uh, bonds and CDs and maybe uh, options premium, so selling options. That's my long-term plan and now, all right, that is the plan and now it's just time to execute and it's gonna take a long time, guys. It's gonna take a long time. Yeah, but I got people already making fun of me just for trying. And, um, yeah, it upset me. But you know what? I know that that guy in particular, um, never going anywhere with his life. He says, no vision. No vision, no calling, no purpose. That's why he's never going anywhere. You have to have a calling, guys. You got to search. You have a calling, it's there. Make a plan. Don't let other people hold you down, guys. So let's say that you're married and your wife or husband doesn't believe in your vision. Now, I'm not saying to go literally like take out a second mortgage on your home and go put it down at the racetrack. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you are really putting in a lot of work and you're trying to start a business, for example, you can't let other people just shove you down, okay? You can't. They have no vision. They're going to be employees their entire life, and they don't have the entrepreneurial spirit. And they're going to pull you down with them. They're going to pull you down. You have to believe, guys. You have to have faith that you know what the goal is and that you know through time and hard work, a lot of time and a lot of hard work, guys. It's not coming tomorrow. This is not, this is not TikTok, guys. Day trading is not TikTok. It's not coming overnight, guys. The fortunes are not coming overnight. They're not coming tomorrow, but they can years from now if you start putting in the work now. A mustard seed of faith is all you need, guys, to find the Lord. That's all you need. You have to have that little bit of faith to start with that, hey, I can do something. And then all these other people, these losers trying to tell you that you can't do anything, that's why they're losers, guys, and that's why they're never going to be anything other than mediocre. That's what I think about people like that. All right? I really do. I really do think that. They're corporate. 
uh, they are corporate, freaking um, mediocre. They're going to have miserable marriages. They're going to have miserable, normal lives. And they're never going to achieve anything. And they're going to try and bring down people that are trying, trying to achieve something. So, that's my thoughts on, on that particular individual. It's just really pathetic. You know, and he's got a little girlfriend that kind of controls him. So, I'm done with him. I mean, th that subject. I'm not saying, like, I hate his guts or anything. I just think he's a mediocre, pathetic weasel. He knows who he is. The people who achieve greatness in lives, it doesn't, greatness in life, it takes time and it takes vision. Guys, it takes vision. Vision. Like, planning. Deferred gratification. It takes planning, guys. You can't let other people drag you down. If you have a vision and you know the Lord has called you to do something and your wife doesn't support you, divorce her. Your girlfriend doesn't uh, support you, find a new one. Your calling must come first. You know that you're called to start a company. Your wife doesn't support you. Your parents don't support you. Your friends don't support you. I guess you're going to be alone. Because you must follow your calling. You have to search for your calling, and then you must follow it. I don't believe in our modern day and age that, that you're all these formless blobs. I believe you have a purpose. But you have to search for it. And then, once you find that calling, you must pursue that calling. That's what I believe, guys. I have the philosophy of like Henry David Thoreau. I don't believe in our modern politics at all. I don't. I don't like. I, I don't. I really don't. I believe in callings. I believe in purpose, meaning. And that's not something that's very popular in our modern day and age. We're very apathetic. I believe that if I were called to be an attorney, I'd already be at a law firm and I wouldn't be had a bunch of applications rejected. That's what I think. Instead, I'm, I believe that I'm called to be here. Why am I called to be here? To show myself and to show you that you can make your own income from scratch. You can build a life that you want to live without a boss, without, without constraints on your speech, without constraints on your behavior, other than YouTube, obviously, right? Um, that's what I believe. And I have a vision. Maybe it doesn't work out. I'll get a job. But I believe it can work. Notice I said, I believe, guys. You have to have faith. You have to have vision. And those little-minded peons who think that you can't achieve something, you need to brush them aside. If it's your parents, brush them aside. If it's your wife, divorce her. If you know what your calling is, those who are going to drag you down, you need to cut them out. And if you have a supportive wife, and she loves you and she, she supports your calling, Absolutely keep her. But if she's going to nag you and bother you and and she's going to tell you that it can't be done, you need to divorce her. Move on. You have to follow your calling. Your friends don't support what you're doing. Your friends don't think you can start your new business. Your friends don't believe in the vision, but you believe in the vision. New friends or no friends. That's what I think. I really believe that can't let the mediocre drag you down. The mediocre don't want you to succeed. 
The mediocre wants you to be right down in the moldrum with them. That's what they want. They'll never believe that it can be done. They have no vision. They'll never amount to anything other than a mediocre employee. An entrepreneur rises above and has vision. He has vision. It's a key element, guys. Deferred gratification and vision. It's like when you're visioning, envisioning what the chart is going to do in the future. Spatial reasoning. I know that I'm not going to get funded today, but I know if I keep working at it, I will be funded. I know I'm not going to get to live funded with Top Step tomorrow, and, but I know that if I keep working a couple months from now, maybe I'll be there. That's what I know. I know I don't understand all of ICT's models right now, but I know if I keep working, I'll be there. The Lord has shown me what my weaknesses are. The Lord has spoken to me, not in words. And I can't deny it. That's calling, guys. And in our modern day and age in 2023, nobody believes in calling, but I do. Do you have a calling? Do you have a calling in life? Does your husband or does your wife support you? Does your boyfriend or your girlfriend support you? Or does he or she not support you? Because if you know what your calling is, and he or she does not support you, time to get them out of the way. Your friends think that you're a fool. The people in your life, guys, the people that are the people that are in your life, you know, colleagues, teachers, professors, they think you're a damn fool. Fuck them. Fuck them. You keep working. You keep working. You keep grinding. You keep going. Because it is possible. It can be done. But it takes self-mastery. Guys, this is not coming unless you deeply introspect. I'm religious, so I believe that the Lord has spoken to me, not in words, but he's spoken to me in a manner of like showing me who I am and showing how I can work with what I am and who I am to make it happen. If you're not religious... I don't, I don't know how you have purpose in life without the Lord, but you think that I'm a damn fool? I think you're a damn fool. So my point being is you have to have calling. You have to have vision. You have to have purpose. Everything that you know, in my opinion, everything about 2023 in our modern day and world is evil and wrong and wicked. Purposelessness, formlessness, blobs ever-changing, I can't, I don't know what I am today or tomorrow. How can you live like that? How can you go from day to day never knowing what you are? I can't imagine the mental torment from never having purpose. Purpose, guys. you got to have purpose. A calling. A plan. Long-term planning. Like, not today, not tomorrow, but 10 years from now. Where am I? And start today. And don't let your friends stop you. Don't let your parents stop you. Don't let your wife or your husband or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or the mediocre pull you down. Guys, don't. You want to be an entrepreneur? It's going to take a long time, guys. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be an immense amount of work, an unbelievable amount of work. But, but if, you're, if that is what you're called to do, it won't even feel like work to you. That's the secret, guys. Some of you are wondering, how do I put out so many videos? Because I'm called to do this. That's why. It's not even work to me at all. Because it's my calling. It's my purpose. And so many of you are laughing right now, and I want to say, you, you that don't, that are laughing at me right now, you will never amount to anything. You will be mediocre until the day that you die, until the day they put you six feet under. If you think that I'm a freaking rambling fool right now and you're just laughing at me, until the day that you are six feet under, you will never amount to jack shit. I believe that too. I, I really do. You will be a mediocrity who never achieves anything of substance. You have to see, you have to envision what's not there right now. You have to think two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, you know, months down the road. If I put in this amount of work, you know, where can I be months down the road? 
If I upload YouTube videos every single day, I know I can get monetized two, three, four months down the road. I know that if I improve my ICT standing, if I improve my day trading day in and day out, day in and day out, and I, and, I, and I research my own trades, I'll get there. It might not be today, it might not be tomorrow, but I know I will get there. Okay? Losers. You have to have vision, ladies and gentlemen. You have to have vision. I'm done with that. Make a plan, execute. Make a plan and then execute. And don't let anybody stop you. Okay, um, this trade, um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this to break even. So let's go uh, just literally, yeah, one tick. Um, we'll pay the commissions if it comes back. Okay, I'll show you the executions. So first contract here on the five, four minute chart, you can see that it came on all the way at the bottom here, then that was some not so optimal. Second contract came up uh, at a much better spot. Looks like we are going to be stopped out on this, though. Um, okay. Uh, break-even principle. Guys, what is the break-even principle that ICT talks about? Um, losses are going to, are, uh, first off, mathematically, you know, it's, it, losses are something that you can work back from, but they take time. It's better to remain around break-even than to accept the loss. So it's important to use that break even break even stop. Not too early though. Not too early. So it's better to hover around break-even, guys, than it is really to take losses. But that being said, don't use your break-even stops too early. We'll see how this trade plays out. My headphones got to be in for a bit, guys, because uh, there's screaming children outside, and I need to kind of calm down after my ranting. Um, we're going to be watching this trade together.
I realized that I was talking and I had my microphone muted. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lock in a uh, profit. So I'm going to take one contract off here at this third standard deviation of this order block, if we can get there. And then um, I think that our higher, like, our higher time frame draw on liquidity probably in the next few hours is going to be down at this low. Um, but I don't know how quickly you get there. Now, economic calendar, guys, it's important that we reference that. Um, so, you see that we have non-farm payrolls and unemployment rate tomorrow. So, tomorrow's going to be a volatile day. We're expecting um, a large multi-standard deviation move tomorrow, for sure. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording there. Um, good 30-minute mark. Uh, that's about all I have for you now, guys. We'll talk to you later.